The shift is here. I've been saying for a while that the shift is coming and well, it's officially arrived and you may be wondering how exactly that's going to affect you. Florida Realtors released the most recent numbers for Alachua County. And here's what we know. Over this time last year, closed sales are down 29%. Cash offers are down 13.5%. The average sales price is actually up over this time last year, but only by 1.2%, much lower than we've seen in the past couple of years. The median time to contract is up 110% from 10 days to 21 days on average. And the monthly inventory is up 23.5% to 2.1 months of inventory. Take a deep breath. The sky is not falling. We're just headed into a major shift and correction. And I wanna break down exactly what that's gonna mean. First of all, you've gotta think, we just came off of the most astronomical, insane market many of us have ever seen. Interest rates were historically low, demand was historically high, and that just created a real estate storm. So let's dive in and analyze what we're looking at here. Talking first about how closed sales are down almost 30%. Many buyers have simply been priced out of the market because interest rates have nearly doubled since January, which can really affect a monthly mortgage payment and dropped a lot of people's purchasing power. And because of that, some people who maybe can still afford it just got scared and froze. And a lot of that is kind of reflecting in this big drop in closed sales. Uncertainty always leads to inaction. Cash offers are also down. Cash offers were really king back in 2020 and 2021 because if you were financing, it got really hard to beat out other buyers. And the reason there was so much cash is think about somebody who had recently invested in say Tesla. They made a whole bunch of money and a lot of people took some of that money out and used it to buy a house. I don't know if you've looked at your 401k recently, but in recent months, the stock market has taken quite a dip. It's absolutely recovering and we're already seeing that, but people are feeling less likely to wanna take a bunch of money out to go buy another asset. The average sales price, it's still up over last year, but you can see the gap is closing. The year over year appreciation we've seen since 2019 has been absolutely massive and that was never gonna be sustainable. With more houses coming up for sale and sitting on the market a little bit longer, that has decreased some of the competition. So if you're not having 15 offers on one house, ultimately that's gonna cause the prices to drop down a bit, which removes the crazy appreciation of 2020 and 2021. But think back to 2018, 2019, your house has not plummeted to those levels. So you're still maintaining some value. It's just not jumping up as quickly as it was. The median time to contract from when the sign goes in the ground to when you've accepted an offer, it's more than doubled from 10 to 21 days. But let's pull back and look at it from 30,000 feet. 21 days is not long at all. In fact, historically, for you to wait a month or two to get your house under contract is still super strong and relatively short. Just ask anybody who was trying to sell a house in 2010 and had to wait eight months to get an offer. Inventory has also increased. We're at 2.1 months of inventory, which in some points in the last couple of years, we had less than four weeks of inventory. But again, take that 30,000 foot view. 2.1 months of inventory is still putting us in a seller's market. Until we hit four months of inventory, there's not gonna be a balance there. And a balanced market is a good thing. As things shift into the buyer's market, that's gonna change the game for sellers. But for right now, inventory is still low. I believe it's gonna catch up pretty quickly. But as of this point, there's still more buyers than there are houses. What it really comes down to is perception. Taking a step back, taking a deep breath. You could say that, oh my gosh, look at these numbers. Everything is way down, the sky is falling. But remember from where we came from, everything shot up so unbelievably high, so unbelievably fast that that correction was inevitable. What's important to pay attention to is if numbers start diving below 2019 and 2018 rates, then we might see some issues. But for now, you just need to realize that things are changing rapidly. 
If I'm a buyer right now in today's market, I am getting into action. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're able to, and if you can't, that's another story, but if you can and you're just nervous, I think it's worth figuring out how to get into a house. Interest rates are set to increase, prices are set to increase, albeit slower, but the longer you wait, the more you're gonna pay because a massive pricing plunge is not on the horizon at this point. If I'm a seller, I am also going to get into action sooner rather than later. Inventory is climbing and we are headed towards that balanced market. The more competition you have, the less money you stand to make because if a buyer comes into your neighborhood and has five houses to choose from, it's quite different than if you're the one and only game in town. Take advantage of the leverage you've got before it disappears. Bottom line, pay attention. Don't let the fear and uncertainty of what's happening allow you to put your head in the sand. Maybe it's the right time for you to buy or sell or invest. Maybe it's not, but I can tell you this. I'm here to help you figure it out. The more you know, the better you're going to feel. Trust me, even if the data and facts tell you that now's not your time, at least you're gonna know and not wonder because limbo is a really frustrating and stressful place to be. So arm yourself with information. I'm going to keep putting out as much as I possibly can. And one of the big things you wanna pay attention to right now is interest rates. It's gonna affect your mortgage payment as a buyer. And as a seller, it's affecting your buyer pool. So make sure you're keeping tabs on exactly what's happening with those rates. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.